119 division of Psalms and 11 verse. I'm going to give you my text. Amen. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. This is King James Version. Thine word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. My text tonight, if I use for thought tonight, emotional roller coaster. Emotional roller coaster. Tonight, just going into this text and and uh, emotional emotional roller coaster. It's up and down emotions. Mm -hmm. Up and down emotion. If you picture a roller coaster, it goes up and down motion. Sometimes we are up and sometimes we down. Emotional roller coaster dealing with our attitude and our motion. Up and down. A roller coaster. Have you ever seen a roller coaster and been to a, a fair, a carnival, whatever? The roller coaster goes up and down. And these are the times that we need to check our emotion. The Bible said, and David said, "The word has I hid in my heart that I will not, that I might not sin against thee." Amen. King James Version and said, "But every man is tempted when he draws away from his own lust and entice." Mm. Tonight, dealing with the roller coaster, up and down emotion. Uh -huh. Thinking about a roller coaster ride is always up and down, yeah. and our attitude plays a great deal in it. Self control. Sometimes we are up and sometimes we are down and this is the part that we need to be stable our life got to be so much stable in Christ that we know the word of God that we hid in our heart that we may not sin that we will be holding up the word in our heart that the word in our hearts establishes us and that's where we need to be established renewing our mind and thinking and believing that God have established us God have established our mind and got us so focused on on our environment that we are not up and down emotional roller coaster emotions changing all the time one time we are up and sometimes we're down we we don't know who we are but when we get in Christ Jesus we are established old things are passed away behold all things become new Amen. thank you Lord uh, renewing our mind is so important we have to choose we have to make a choice making a choice you must make a choice to change uh, change by totally renewing your mind. We got to make a change in our life. We have to make a choice. I'm going. I'm, I know. I used to be up and down, moody, uncontrolled, say things. We have to make a choice. The Bible said, "Old things are passed away." We made a choice. I'm putting away all them old attitudes that I used to have, but I'm gonna focus on Christ Jesus. The Lord is the Lord of my life. I got to be focused and cutting in what what I'm doing and who I represent. We represent. God and every every uh, 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 sense of the word God we represent we are God see if, if anybody gonna see God they have to see God through us Amen. he's not gonna come down we'll look at him but our life is a epitome of Christ and how we live so when we have our lives and 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 live a life that godly life we are saying that we have self-control we are saying we are not on the on the emotional roller coaster. We are not going to let the devil cause us to be up and down. His thoughts may come to us. Uh, uh, and, and this is one of the things that the enemy, the enemy will come. He will come to you and tell you to do things out of the will of God. Yeah. He don't stop tempting you because you're saved. He, he he plays on our emotion, things that we used to do. He brings it to us and hands it to us. You know, I just you ought to just tell them all. You ought to just cuss them out. You ought to just give them a piece of your mind. But you got to realize who are you in Christ Jesus? Greater is He that's in me than He that is in the world. We got to take inventory of who we represent. Well, I know the old person, I probably would have been ready to fight, would have cussed them out, but now that Christ has come in you, you are a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Now, when you are new in Christ Jesus, and we chose to be new, we have to make a choice. Say, so I, I, I'm renewing my mind. My mind is being renewed in, in Christ Jesus. And none of us, none of us will ever be totally free of emotion. Mm -hmm. 
None of us in here. Our emotions gonna gonna try to dictate to us whether good or bad. None of us in here will be ever uh, free of emotion, whether it be good or bad. We are still in emotional sense, but we got to choose to have good emotion. We got to we got to choose to do what is right and what is good in God's eyesight. Amen. See the roller coaster. Uh, right. The emotional roller coaster it deals with up and down attitude. We got to come to a stable stability in our life. We got to be stable. And we got in the Bible says, and quietness and confidence shall be thy strength. We got to learn to be quiet and listen to the voice that's talking to us. Sometimes we the voice sometimes be coming to us a small steel voice. Say, Don't get involved. Uh-huh. Don't touch this. See, see, self-control is dealing with so many areas. It, it, the fact we may have an eating habit, that we always love sweets. And, and I never forget because when the doctor said I had to change my way of eating, I had to have self-control dealing with that. When he told me, say, you eating all the wrong food, and which was, they said all the good stuff, you had to stop eating. He said, if you want to be around, you got to stop eating all them starches. You got to get on a, on a, on a, on a low-carb diet. That, and and, and when, he, when I thought about it, I said, Lord, I'm not going to, it's not time for me to leave. I'm not going to leave here. And, and, and this doctor is telling me what is right. So I began to train myself. I had to, I got, I had to get away from that junk food. See, see, I had to have self-control. I could have, I could have chose to not, not listen to the doctor and begin to just keep on eating all, everything I think that I, that I like and all the craziness, biscuits, one of the main things, goods, I love biscuits and man with syrup and all that. Man, it was killing me. I had to learn self-control. So I'm saying that was an area of self-control, denying ourselves all the junk food, getting off all the starches, all that rice, and all the grits, and all that. See, I was brought up in the country. That's all we, we call it, soul food. And the soul food was killing my soul, was killing my body. Amen? You know, hot grits and hot biscuits, man, we just tap all that starch together, give it all to me. Amen? And you know, I'm just, just junk food and and and, and it, I'll never forget my birthday and I had two cakes man chocolate cake and a pound cake man all the sweets coming in and and and, and the only thing you get your body can't burn that stuff up so I had to condition myself with self control dealing with eating habits and now I just eat nice salad fish and chicken and stuff see I had to I feel better and I want to be around a long time so I had to get in that area of self control you have to condition yourself when you ain't been exercising and, and you have to have self control so I'm on exercise now. I'm going to deal with that in a few minutes, but one of the main things we have to, we got to do something here, and, and we'll never be able to totally uh, uh, just be free of emotion, and we do not need to eliminate them uh, uh, from our life. We don't, we don't need to eliminate all that emotion from our life, but we, but we must learn to manage and to control them. Uh, uh, not align them to control what? You. Are uh, having power over you. See, emotion, emotions are not all bad. God has given us a, a new nature. But at the same time, we, we also have to deal with the old nature. He gave us a new nature, but we also have to deal with the what? Oh, the old one. Amen. He gave us something new. But we got to think about it now. That he gave us something, a new mind in you. But the old part of you constantly come up. Man, let me tell you something. I just see them this is on that page and, and, and they send those coupons in the mail. I, and I'm looking at them. I say, uh-uh. Uh-huh. Devil, you the lie. I ain't going back there. Yeah. Them things like to kill me. I don't eat like eight dishes in the morning before I go to work. Give me about four or five pieces of bacon. Man, I was, man, I was popping them babies in the oven. By the time I put them in the oven, I got the bathtub, man. Eating them biscuits, man. Eating that syrup and, and bacon, man, it was killing me. I said, Lord, I thought about it. I couldn't hardly walk. That's it. Man, my knees and everything, I couldn't hardly walk. I said, What is this? All that craziness I was eating. Man, I them big old, them big Texas biscuits. Man, I'd pop them in there. Probably didn't know she was sleeping. I was just eating them down. You know, and I, I found myself just being addicted to it. But one of the things that that doctor, when he told me, he said to me, he said, you know, 
if you, if you keep on eating like he said, he said, I'm not going to put you on no kind of medication. Uh -huh. He said, you got to start eating right. He said, you got to lose some weight. He said, you too big. I lost, I lost good 